we're going on over to Galaxy Digital Land. They have abandoned their $1.2 billion plan to acquire crypto custody firm BitGo. Their crypto-focused financial services firm says BitGo has failed to provide financial statements by the July deadline. So we'll remember that the deal was announced in May 2021. It was supposed to be closed by the end of the year. BitGo was required to send audited financial statements for 2021 by July 31st, and they did not not do so. So the deal is kaput. Wendy, I'm going to throw this one down to you. We do look so nice and yellow in this column here on the left-hand side of the screen. I love it. We should match more often. Wendy, what, what do you make of this news this morning? Well, I would like to say I'm happy to be back with you guys. I missed y'all. Um, but I think that this is going to be a common thing that we're going to start to see. We, Even though Bitcoin price is starting to appreciate in a positive aspect, we have the ETH merge coming, everybody is so excited, people are getting euphoric again, we still have to remember that we're in a bear market. And a lot of people were impacted with the crypto contagion. And I don't think the crypto contagion is done. So I think we're going to see a lot more stories of companies that are trying to get um, to be acquired or acquire um, different entities that want to be bought out. And a lot of these deals will fall through because their balance sheets or their financial statements are not up to par as to what they originally pitched because a lot of people took massive L's in the particular market. So I think we'll be seeing a lot more of this and, you know, Bear, just bear market things, guys. Bear I mean, market things. No one knows what's happening behind the scenes here on this panel, but this one was shocking this morning. This had been a major, major deal that had been announced something like 15 months ago. And for it not to get over the finish line, as was anticipated, is a bit striking. Galaxy Digital, obviously hel helmed by Mike Novogratz. BitGo, helmed by Mike Belshi. These are people who've been in this space for a long time, who know what they're doing and who know and know why this would have been an attractive marriage. And for it to be called off like this on a Monday morning here in August, I think it was a bit striking to folks as they stumbled upon this news today. I know it was for me personally. To see this fail to actually get completed is crazy. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it was a very splashy deal when it was announced and it's not coming to pass. That's wild. Anyway, Wendy, back to you. But you said it was announced 15 months ago, right? Yeah. Well, that was in the middle of the bull market. Everybody was excited. Everybody was euphoric. Money was like pouring in from everywhere. <laughs> so I feel like people are going to start to be a lot more conservative when it comes to their capital, when it comes to their cash, their crypto, their gold, whatever it is. So we're not going to see a lot of these deals. I think that we will actually see a lot of these deals fall through. So I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked, especially everything that's happened <laughs> in the last two months in crypto. Yeah, Wendy, I mean, you just gotta, uh, it's, you, go for it, Zach. You got it. No, I mean, you just got to wonder okay. if it's like, hey, you know, the time is not right. Let's uh, let's pump the brakes on this. Let's 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 rethink this. But yeah, I don't know. Something is up here. It's interesting to watch this one come to pass as it did. But uh, over to you, Wendy. Sorry, Jen. Whatever. No, it's so Jen, much yellow. I don't know. It's Monday. It's, all, it's oh Monday. Yeah, everyone's yellow. We all look the same. It's tough. I, I was just going to point to the fact, you know, we spoke about uh, Galaxy Digital's earnings call. I, I think it was last week or the week before. Uh, their shares have gone down 60% since March. But as of June, they said they had a liquidity position of $1.5 billion. When we talked about it on the show, we talked about um, a, a little bit of a shift in direction that came out of that earnings call, right? They said they were going to focus more on, on mining acquisitions. And so I think, you know, we think about the bull market, money is flying everywhere, Wendy. That was a great um, kind of picturesque description of what happens in this industry in the bull market. Everyone is so excited and rich. And then the bear market comes around and we really need to pump the brakes. I think that this was a blessing in discussion. Guys, I think that their um, sites are maybe set elsewhere and we will see that come to fruition. But from that earnings call, it seems like Galaxy Digital at least is doing okay.